Chancellor's Log, April 17th, 1937. Three months ago, I wrote that revolution is inevitable for the British. Several months have now passed, and yet the British are still not blockaded nor revolting. Moreover, the British economy still isn't crashing. Somehow, the British are still being supplied, despite our best efforts to shut down any way to get supplies to their island. We've stopped a flotilla of civilian vessels that was sailing from Dunkirk, carrying supplies out of supposedly neutral France. We've seized several Norwegian freighters who were on course for Britain. The Norwegian government protested vehemently, but quickly fell silent as the Mars showed up 10 kilometers off of Oslo. We've even shot down several aircraft after discovering that they were not simply carrying passengers, but were in fact carrying illegal cargo. At this point, it's just turning into a drawn-out embargo. The Royal Navy only has a few ships left. They are building new ones, but their current admiral sends them out one by one the moment they're finished. These new ships usually don't survive for more than a week. We will just have to stay the course. We will have to stick with it. I still believe that this plan will work. Hey guys, still here and welcome to episode 37. Braunschweig is going to face off against two battle cruisers. This is the Bellerophon and the Devastation. These are Bellerophon class cruisers. They have been refit several times apparently, as indicated by the Dash 3. This is the 1936 refit and they're carrying 17 inch guns. For the first time, Braunschweig could actually be in danger. She is sporting 18.9 inch guns. They haven't been updated to the Mark IIs yet, so we'll just have to make the Mark I's work, which should be an interesting challenge. Let's have a look. I also have the Comet. Not strictly a legendary ship, yet she's been proven very reliable. Let's slow you down. Sea state, good. You, Didi, go look for something to shoot. RDF. Oh, crap. We don't have the bear radar upgrade yet. Hello. There. Okay. Um, any particular reason you're not training your guns? You do have range. This is something I've been noticing lately. It's like they don't bother training their guns. Something is detected, yet the ships don't bother training their guns. Wow. Is Are you happy to see me, or are you trying to shoot a bird? What the hell? <laughs> when your battleship is really happy to see you. <laughs> Come on. How do the guns not just fall out of the turrets? <laughs> Go on. Sorry. Maniacal giggling. Um, that's my chance to hit against these big gun platforms here. Point three. Yeah. Okay, I suppose you have range, you just don't have detection. Yeah, they almost got range. Can you pen? Not currently, because you're not in range. Tell me again. 0% chance to hit. That's nice. Oh shit, I've been detected. Brandschweig now opening up with high explosive. She is carrying capped ballistic high explosive shells and semi ballistic armor piercing. With these kinds of HE shells at this level of range, you can do a fairly substantial amount of damage to a British battlecruiser's deck armor if you don't flat out destroy it. Uh, turn to port. Open up. Braunschweig has a veteran crew which is able to reload these guns in 244 seconds, aka 4 minutes. It's going to take a while. Comet is also opening up and Braunschweig has an accuracy of 7%-ish. The British battlecruiser has a 50-50% chance to pen. That is pretty dangerous. We're going to have to play this one a bit safe-ish. Oh, 
Wow. Great accuracy. Can we get one hit, please? No. Gotta get these things upgraded. I thought I had no 18-inch guns left, but I'm wrong. I didn't replace all of them. Braunschweig is the one that got away. Give me H... no, AP shells. Where are what? Balanced shells? Yeah, standard ratio. Half and half. Now you should have less chance to pen me. Still 50? Holy. That's gonna be pretty damn dangerous. I would say let's brawl. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but whatever. Let's just push the Braunschweig into a better position. 10% chance to hit-ish. Oh, that's looking good. So it misses. Lovely. These 17s have 8.5% chance to hit. They are Mark 1. They reload in less than half my time. Okay. Devastation has a trained crew, and these are trained as well. I would love to try and brawl them. I think it's not necessarily a good idea. Um, Comet, you're going to have to make yourself a bit more useful. 11. Hold. Chance to hit. 1.4% without buffs. 3.3. Switch to the Devastation. Yeah, yeah. I know you need to reload the guns. It's fine. Turn the guns. Please hit. 6% chance? Ah. Perhaps, perhaps. But we actually landed a couple of hits. 595. 657. That's... Quite a bit of devastation. Come on, British. If you're going to be naming your ships like this, you got to be able to take a joke. Destroy the secondary gun. I'm trying to ramp up damage on both of these ships to make them both have damage and stability. And thus make them both less effective. They are fast. 38 knots. Or at least they could be fast. If they weren't so badly damaged. Now we got a 30% chance to hit. Oh, that's not great for my destroyer. That is pretty not great. 34%, 10 kilometers out. So this is a more reasonable <laughs> elevation on the guns. This is not as crazy as we've seen before. Move over Yamato. We got bigger guns. Okay, 34% chance. I think we can pen them with SAP. Because I think this is not telling the whole story. They have a 14-inch main belt, plus 140%. At... Ish... 10 kilometer range. 22.8 is what I can pen. But that was HE. Uh, 45 inches of armor with AP. And I don't really care about your angling. So I should be able to blow a very sizable hole in the size of the, the, the side of the devastation. Fire. One or two hits. Nothing? Wow, that was pretty terrible. Somebody else got some decent damage in, though. It's the heavy cruiser. It's the comet. She's pulling her weight. Causing all sorts of damage. She's done 2k. Brandschweig has done 2.5 difference is Braunschweig cost 340 million and the Comet costs 72. Ideally, in a fight like this, I would probably take four Comets over one of these. Uh, you can almost get five. Buy four, get one free. Starting to run away. Let's increase speed. And let's just hit it with HE just for fun. Well... Rephrase. Let's shoot him with HE and maybe we can hit them. And we can't. Good lord. These things are really not that good. 20% damage and stability and you have... Still 50. Okay, Comet, we're going to switch fire. The Comet is taking fire. Probably doesn't care that much. Yeah, the whole belt on the Comet is very well protected. 
So yes, they can go through the deck armor if they so desire. But that's about it. Now I think the 18s are about to be reloaded. Yeah, 46% chance to hit. We're shooting at the devastation. Shit, sorry about that. I need to turn off the Facebook. My bad. Devastation, come on. 47. I'm going to see a high-end high-explosive hit. Just the one. No, missed again. I suspect that the sailors aboard the Braunschweig are getting just about as frustrated with this ship as I am. Because she's just not performing. Sadly. Thirty-two percent structural on the devastation. Is SAP slow or fast? Slower. Okay, fifty percent chance to hit. Come on, with a high end explosive or with a high explosive hit and get three and a half k per salve or per hit. Please, pretty please. Yes, thank you. That was more like it. That was five and a half k. That's the kind of numbers I want to see out of these 18.9 inch guns. Time to refit the Braunschweig. Get out of those 18.9 Mark IIs. Alright. Um, the Comet is just largely untouched. This thing has done 75 damage. Yeah, their guns are just as shit as mine. Perhaps shittier even. Okay. Braunschweig, 3%, 52%, yeah, just whack him over the head once more. No, actually, shift the target, because this can be killed off with secondaries. That was not an 18.9 inch hit. And I thought the Braunschweig was actually at risk here. She is not. She's very much not. And all of these 5.9ers are doing quite a lot of damage. They've done... Well, they've done just shy of the damage that the 18.9s have done. Then again, these are Mark IV and these are Mark I. So more accuracy, better reload, better specs pretty much all around. Where do you think you are going? I might not be able to do your 38 knots, but neither can you. You can do 24. My shells can do a lot more. They just don't hit very often. No, they did hit. Just 400 damage, though. At least the, the Braunschweig did more damage than the Comet. But I'm sticking to my point. I'd rather take five heavy cruisers of the Comet class than one Braunschweig. Although Braunschweig is more interesting to use, arguably. Range 13 clicks, I can pen 18 inches of armor. Should be enough to go through the fore or aft belt. Even with their quality bonus. Not that much of an issue. 12 kilometer range. 57% chance to hit. Fire. Eradicate them. You missed? No, you got 293 damage. Spectacular. <laughs> to all of you non-believers on the Big Guns campaign, Exhibit A, Braunschweig. This is why I swapped back to 16-inch guns. They're just overall more cost-effective. They do the damage, and they do enough damage, and they reload faster, and they have enough pen. And sure enough, once in a while, it is nice to see those big damage numbers. My issue is, you don't see them often enough. 93% chance to hit. And that's 1100 damage, and that's her dead. Okay, so that's two more battle cruisers out of this fight. That means less sea control for the British in the North Sea. And there was something else. There was a destroyer out there. You go find it and eliminate it. Okay, there you are, Sirdar. 
You can do 35 knots. That's cute, says the Württemberg, doing 39 knots. Uh, yeah, she's going to be the only one <laughs> to catch the Sirdar. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Well, spot of bad news. Württemberg, normally capable of doing 33, sorry, 39 knots, has been pushed out here without being ready for service. She is in her almost completely destroyed state. Which means I have a battleship that can do 32, I have a battle cruiser that can do 33, and I have the Friedrich Karl and the Bavaria, which can only do 28. I'm not sure if I can be able to catch this DD. Unless it happens to be coming directly towards me. That's pretty much the only chance I have of sinking this thing. Can we get a radar ping? Somewhere over here? Don't tell me it's like 50 clicks out. It's 50 clicks out. No, it's 55 clicks out. This is a waste of my time. I can't catch this. Fine. Fine. Turn back. Not going to do this battle. Bloody hell, the Württemberg. Not quite fixed. I'm surprised to see her out here, actually. What the fuck? You didn't do that damage. That damage was done in the previous encounter. So don't go claiming the victory points now. That's just unfair. Or a bug. The British lost 10 transports. I've lost 1. And the Italians are losing 8. Does this mean the British are finally starting to squeal? Not yet. Not yet. Still growing, surprisingly. Excuse me? How many ships you got? Two! <laughs> so that's the Sirdar. And whatever this light cruiser is. Okay. Um, we still gotta push some ships all the way over from the North Sea, where I have 86,000 power projection, to the Atlantic. Because I haven't blocked that off yet. The Irish Sea is not considered a separate entity. It is marked on the map, but if you hover over it, you don't get a power projection notice. All right, Braunschweig's upgrade. 1936 was the last one. Wait. Oh, we reverted this right. Now I get it. So the only ships that haven't been receiving that upgrade are the Braunschweig and the Heimdall. Okay. Back here, they had the 18.9s. I'm going to go with the Braunschweig 1933 mod. And I'm going to refit that. Because then we're going to get those better upgrades. Or those better guns. They still have a very terrible rate of fire. And they're too big? For this turret? What? That's new. Standard 18s will work. Fine. We we'll use the standard 18s. Whoa, no, 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 no. What else do we need to upgrade? Generation 2 radar check, autoloaders check, check, coincidence check. Uh, gun aiming speed is nice. Semi ballistic is fine. They got the upgrade to diesels. Give them better oil. Um, they have a lot of displacement potential. What if I fix bigger guns to them? No, it's the Mark 1. It's the same problem all over again. But if that's true, then why do these guns have... Okay. It's comparing apples and oranges. You got the 18s which are the 63, so the long barrels, and then you got the 52s, which are the short barrels, much like these. So don't compare the reload of 0.25 runs a minute with 0.27 and 0.24, because it's not fair. Okay, no, this is fine. This is fine. Let's increase speed. 
Let's make this thing quite zippy across the battlefield. We've got a funnel six. It's as good as we can get it. Let's increase your speed and uh, your range. Hmm. What else? Superstructure armor is always nice to have. There. We're firing super heavy shells. I could change that to have standard shells or even light. I can currently pan 20,000 meter range, 27 inches of armor. If I go for light shells, 20,000 meter range, 24 inches of armor, but my reload increases. It, well, improves, that is. Yeah, let's go for light shells. Let's do something a bit different. Let's go for TNT4 and Cordite 3. I think the rest of it's fine. I cannot upgrade their steering. I cannot upgrade this. The main tower is a modern tower 5, so that's fine. I've got some displacement left. If I can use that to fix the offset, that'd be nice. Come on. Ugh. There. Okay, so that's the new refit, the 19, 1937 version of the Braunschweigs, with better guns. I expect great things. We also expect some pretty serious repair or refit time. Braunschweig. That's the York. Württemberg, 10 months. Why are you out here? In being. Yeah. Keep a defensive stance for ship stationed at port. Less effective at sea. Power projection is reduced. That's fine. I don't want you to leave the dock until you're fixed. Uh, Heimdall, three months. Braunschweig, three months. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, let's continue tightening the noose. The British and the Italians are clashing. Really? See, I lose 4.2 points in the North Atlantic. The Italians have absolutely no business being in the North Atlantic. And they are being fixed in the Western Mediterranean. Okay. Ah, the caster. That's one of your two ships, isn't it? Now, despite having this much firepower, I still don't trust the auto resolve. Because it's just... It's quite likely that the game goes, Oh, it has torpedoes. It's going to kill you. And thus proceeds to eliminate me. You, fast boys. Start going fast. Thor, forward-facing firepower in a 21, 35 knots, 5.9 inch guns. Let's go. I don't think the battleships are going to be that useful in defeating a light cruiser. They might get the occasional hit. What do we have? Eger, Prinz Regent, and Markgraf. All of these 16 inch gun battleships. Sadly, this ship too is simply too fast. And since the starting range appears to be 50 kilometers or so, it's very easy for the AI to disengage and just kind of leave me standing there. What? I have add crew on. What is your problem? There. Convoy? Really? Ah, it's the Sirdar. It's that one DD they got left. Unless they've been building new stuff, but they haven't. They're building 30 ships, though. I don't understand why we're not blockading them. We have power projection everywhere. Check. We have a fleet that's vastly more sizable than theirs. Check. What else do we need? Oh, you still haven't been upgraded. Okay, fine. What else do we need to start actively blockading the British? Because I think it shouldn't take that much more. It shouldn't take that much more. Extremely close encounter here against the British DD. She's probably going to spam torps in my direction. This is not great. Turn the guns. I launched my torp at them. That's amusing. Is that going to hit? No. What the fuck? What is that about? 
What is that about? Okay, you got a damaged engine. And you sent out a spread of torpedoes. Yes, you did, you mother... F oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is... Less than ideal. Right over. We have to zigzag. Turn back. Get your ass around. Come on. Swing that ass. Yes. We're doing it. It's gonna fit. Slightly flooded because of this bastard. Turn fire. I want to go after the transport. That's my mission. Okay, we're good. Let's go. That was a dick move with the stealth torpedoes. Minus 73% visibility. If this thing had been upgraded with better sonar, I would have spotted that. Hold on. I'm not losing the V16 here. Let it be known. I will render you useless, and then I'm going to move out and kill your transport, and I'm going to go come back, and I'm going to kill you. Do you understand, Sirdar? That's how this is going to go. You're flooded, you have one engine problem. I hope to flood you some more. Okay. Sometimes you just have to instruct the enemy as to how this battle is going to go. Lest they get some funny ideas. Let's go find the transport. A little while later, we have clothes on the transport. We're going to eliminate this one. <laughs> the V-16 agreed. And then we're going to go back to the DD. And finish what we started. Now, rudder is a bit of an issue. So, dodging torpedoes next is going to be a challenge. But... I'm not sure about the status of the torpedo launchers of the enemy destroyer as is, so it shouldn't be that hard. What I only just noticed is that my stern turret's been destroyed. That's pretty rude. Sirdar still has torpedo launchers. Fantastic. Yep. They're already turning to meet me. Slow. We have two damaged engines. Partial. Use AP. That was the torpedo launch sound. And it was not mine, so it was... It wasn't theirs either? Whose was it? Pew. Ricochet. Flooding. semi armor piercing against a target like this is fantastic. Flooding. Flooding. Partial pen. Partial. Should be dead. I really need to fix the 16 up and actually update her, because this is starting to get a bit tense. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, there you go. Job done. 16 is probably going to need a few weeks to repair. Like eight weeks, two months. What do you think? How long? Two months, yep. I did I did get some of the crew back. Okay, so power projection North Sea, 60,000. Power projection in the Channel, 8,000. Power projection North Atlantic, 20,000. Somehow the British don't have ships, but the French, which don't exist anymore, do. Okay. Um, weren't you supposed to be getting refit? What are you doing out here? Why am I not seeing any damage to the British economy? Fight to the end. Two powder. Okay. They've lost four transports. Perfect. What? Doesn't make sense. Does not make sense. Ah, meeting. More enemies have... We have more enemies lurking for a chance. Like who? Oh, both the other guys. Bad idea. There's the caster. 
This is going to be interesting for the V26. She has 12 5.9ers. This thing has 8 7.4s. Let's do battle. Let's take the battle to the British light cruiser. I think I can take them. I think I can detect them before they can detect me. But I'm wrong because I don't have radar. Remember to upgrade your ships. It's just that I haven't been researching that much new stuff. And I do try to overhaul most ships off camera. It's just the V-26 is the one that got away. Oh! Oh! No! No, 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 no. Luckily they can't shoot for shit. But, uh... That's not funny, dude. There you are. Nice torpedo spread, though. Just keep it away from me. Smoke up. Are they vaping? No. Good. Carry on. Please! Put the guns on the target. Thank you. Seasoned crew, my ass. Come on. Couple of holes in them, and they're gonna flood right out. It shouldn't be that hard. It's just CL. Why are we not hitting them? Parcel pen. Turn. Gently turn. Four degrees right rudder standard. Come on. Surely you can keep your guns on target. Ooh, flooding. That was a pretty high ricochet chance, though. What are you doing? 26. Damage the main tower. Crew? Trained. Torpedoes? Almost reloaded. Fun. Come on, shoot! Thank you. Damaged rudder. Flooding. Not a great situation to be in. What is the problem with these guns? It's like they take a few minutes just to go, Oh yeah, we could go and turn. Like, don't be an idiot. If the ship turns one way, you turn the turrets the other way. It's not that hard. Good. That's more like it. Flooding. More. Do they have the same issue? Yes, they do. And arguably they have more firepower than I do. Especially in those small guns of theirs. I'm not sure if I can save my little destroyer here. I'm going to need a couple more high-end pens in order to save her. We... Flood it. Well, maybe flooding would work. Many bulkheads. Trained crew. I'm thinking... Burning them down is not necessarily the best option. Just trying to flood them using semi-armor piercing. And maintaining our own speed while reducing theirs. So their accuracy, at least at the 1.3s, drops. And then smoke up whenever we can. I'm gonna turn a bit. See, I would rather face a battle cruiser with a destroyer than a light cruiser. Shit, they can still see me. <sighs> Had I upgraded this, they would have probably been at least a more fair fight. Or it would have already been over. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, more. Okay, Let, let's get it out of your system. Find him. He can't be far, surely. Where the fuck do you go? There you are. Trying to run, huh? I think not. 
So I mean, more piercing under this angle could be pretty useful. Depend their stern. Calls more flooding that way. Yep, full pen. Over pen. Come on, knock out a main tower if you will. Knock out a stern gun. Anything goes. Partial pen. Ooh. Oh 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 oh. Oh oh. They got me. Yep, they got me. Because I didn't upgrade my ship. Get what you deserve, stealth. Upgrade your shit, and you probably would have survived that battle. Oh well. It's one DD. We got a whole fleet of new ones coming out. It's 20 new DDs. Should have no issue facing down these light cruisers, considering the vast amount of firepower they have. Alright. Do I have those new ships yet? They have four active ships now, instead of two. They're repairing one. They got three task forces, even. That's a big word. Oh, they got one DD coming out of Scapa Flow. They got another DD coming to the North Sea. Good luck with that. Do I have more ships that I can send? Yeah, York. You're going to block off this. Um, let's send uh, a battle cruiser or two out there. Send some ships here. Send some ships over there. Gotta keep the British busy. So, the blockade's not quite going as well as I hoped. Um, more next time, because this episode has run its course. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you soon for the next.